Stampers, Deb Velder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'd like to do a product spotlight. I'm going to spotlight our, our, it's called Sparkle Silk, and you know we have 14 colors of silk in our big catalog. Let me just show them to you. We have 14 colors as of right now, right here, okay, and I am going to add one more to it called Sparkle Silk, and the Sparkle Silk is in our um, mini, new mini catalog, actually, the Spring into Summer catalog, and it's found on page 26 right here, so I'm going to show you this right here it's I'm telling you you're gonna absolutely love it the very first time you use it but I'm gonna show you how to use it in a different way and also um, I wanted to kind of highlight our new little sea stones now they look pretty in the catalog I was really excited to get them but when I actually got them they blew me away these little these little stones right here are just the most gorgeous things you have ever seen if you can see them they are actually it looks like they're sponged on the outside of them they look just like I have no idea what they're just absolutely gorgeous you need to see them in person they are called the sea stones I love them all right and then another thing that I want to highlight on this is um, our lovely blue ink pad a lot of people don't know or haven't seen it in the catalog and that's probably because there isn't a picture with it so let me just show you where it is in the catalog it is um, just past let me see here it is well I know where to look for. Here we go. Um, if you go to the Journey Colors, and right after that, you're going to see our um, 48 colors that we have right here in the catalog. But on the very next page, here's my marker. Okay, on the very next page, on page 290, you're going to see this right up here. And that's called Lovely Blue True Color Fusion Ink Pad. And it is made specifically for direct to paper. And that is this little guy right here. If you get this, you also want to get the um, re-inker with it because this is so light, you're going to have to re-ink it. Not a lot, but you are going to have to re-ink it. Now, we just used it in my class. We had about 50 people go through the class, and um, I didn't re-ink it until after they left. And it was just as good when the last one used it as the first one. So it is. it does last long, but it is a lighter color, and I always tell people to ink their um, pads up um, a little bit more if the color is lighter lighter. All right, so it's called Lovely Blue, and I'm going to show you how to use it. All right, so there's that. This is the card that we're going to do, and I'm going to change it up a little bit, taking off our um, our little sequence. So the, the one I did for this one, I used the Blue Sky sequence, but we're going to use our little um, sand um, sparkles right there. All right, so let me bring in my grid paper, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do that sky that I was telling you about. This pad can be used either for the sky or for water, um, anything that you want to be nice and light and blue. And it's made to go direct to paper. So what we're going to do is I want you to start off the paper and I want you to end off the paper. All right, so start off the paper and end. And for this one, I'm just going to swirl it. And if you want it darker, you're just going to take and just go over it a couple times. We're going to go down a little bit farther and it just literally looks like the sky just lit up and it's that fast all right so that is the lovely blue uh, true fusion ink pad and it is in the catalog after the page with all of the inks lovely blue is the name of it all right so we have our sky now we have to do our sand so I'm going to take just a five or four and a quarter by a two inch piece of cardstock and I'm just going to tear the top of it like this Alrighty, and then I'm going to take my oatmeal cookie. So this is oatmeal cookie cardstock. I'm going to take my oatmeal cookie um, ink, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go direct to paper, turn it around, and do the bottom. And it really does look like um, a sandy beach right here. Alright, so that's so super simple so far. Alright, so there's our bottom piece right here. We've got our top piece right here. So now um, what we can do is we can add these to our card base. So let's grab our Easy Glide tape. And remember when you're using Easy Glide, you want to go light, 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 light. And you just can't imagine how easy it goes down. All right. So this is just going to get centered here on the card. Sky is up. And the sand is going to be down at the bottom. Obviously, that's the way it goes. All right, and I made this the same width as the card. Here we go. All right, so there's our sand. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add our words. So I just took our circle die, 
Um, you can also take our circle punch and just um, cut this out. I'm going to take some hazelnut. I wanted it to be a little bit darker than my sand color, so I took my hazelnut blend and just stamped that right dead smack in the middle of this. And there is that. Now what we're going to do is just pop that up onto our card. Let me just stick that over there. Grab my popped up. Okay, so all I need for my little Journey Foam Squares is the medium-sized one. And we're going to add that over here in the corner. All right, so we're going to put this right over here. And then we're going to work on our turtle. All right, so um, what we're going to do is take a scrap piece of the oatmeal cookie cardstock. I'm going to take my um, clear ink, and this is the smaller of the two turtles. Now let me just show you the turtle set that I'm working with. All right, this is called Turtley Awesome. It is in our new mini catalog, okay, spring into summer. And um, this is the turtle that I'm going to use, not the big one. Now let me just show you the cards I did the other day. Um, and I used the larger um, turtle on this one, on the smaller, and I used the smaller one on the one I showed you how to use the new dauber dowels with. So I used um, the smaller one on that one, and on this one I used the larger one. You see a mama and a baby right there. All right, so those are the two cards we did the other day. And... This is the stamp set. Here is the die and um, my cloud dies. You know I use my cloud dies for everything. All right, so let's take our clear pigment ink. We're going to ink up the little turtle right here. Before I do that, though, I'm going to bring in, this is our pan pastel, and this one happens to be our colorless blender. Because I'm using a color, um, a colored, uh, um, embossing powder. I'm going to actually take, you know, we used to have those those resin bags. Um, we don't have to do that anymore. If you take your colorless blender and just um, ink that onto the back end of this, just like that, um, you don't have to do that anymore. So there isn't powder flying all over. It is just this in the back and it rubs right off after we're done. Um, you already have it because we've used it a million times. So um, just get it out and use it for the back of this and then your um, colored embossing powder will not stick where you don't want it to. So I'm just going to stamp this down here in the middle. This is just a scrap piece of paper that I had. And then I am going to grab my white embossing powder, my little guy right here. This is my media tray and I'm just going to put my white embossing powder on my turtle. Alright. Okay, now what we're going to do is just heat this little puppy up and you're going to see that it doesn't go anywhere where it's not supposed to go because we put the um, we put the, uh, the little resin on the back, back end of it. So let me just plug in my heat gun here. And now what we're going to do is just heat it up. Don't wave this like a hair dryer. You want to keep it nice and still um, so that you know where you've done it and where, you know, where you've heated it up and where you have it. If you do this like a hair dryer, what ends up happening is, is you'll get it heated really good right here, but not up here. And you'll have little spots where they're not heated really well. So just keep it in one spot. Don't get super overexcited, okay? And just go slowly until you've okay, got so it all Okay, so we now done. have our turtle, and I'm going to take that, and we're going to take and just bone fold this so that the little guy is going downward instead of upward, just like this. All right, so he's got a little bit of dimension. All right, and we're going to add him to our card that we were just working on. All right. So I'm going to do that with one of my foam squares right here. I'm going to take two of them, add them to the back end of it, and add it to my card right here. Okay, so he looks like he's running up into the sand. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is to add my um, clouds. And what I do is when I punching them out, I actually do a whole lot of them. I love my cloud dies. You know I use these for everything. So I'm going to use two large ones and two small ones. Keep the rest of these for an another rainy day. And <clears throat> the bigger ones I just glue to the, the actual card base. So let's just grab our Easy Glide here and put on my clouds. So here's one here. Here's one here. And then these little guys, that's what I love about our two sizes. I'm going to take one of the smaller Journey Foam Squares and just put it right here in the middle. There's no cutting. There's no shrinking. It's all just done with 
one little tiny guy. I love, love these foam squares. Alrighty, so let's put one here. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing this now, and that's because I can. No, it's because I want the whole card put together, and then all I have to do is add all my embellishments. So now what we're going to do, this is the most exciting part. Okay, so this is my sparkle silk. You have to shake it just like any of our other, or any of our other silks. You have to shake it until you hear that little, um, I call it a little BB in the bottom of it. You hear it? Okay, then you know it, it, the bottom of it is shaken up, shooken up, shaken up, shook up. It's shook up, and um, all of the sparkles are in there. Okay, so they're all they're all done. They're all kind of mixed around. Like if I didn't, if I left this one, all of the water would stay on top, and the sparkles would be on the bottom. So all you have to do is shake it. So I could take this out, and I could start painting my little turtle if I wanted to. But what I do is, are you ready for this? I take. Okay, so this one right here is my blending brush and I'm going to use a small one. I know it's got sparkle in it because I put my sparkle tape around it so it's dedicated just to my sparkle. I'm going to take the top off. Now I'm going to move these because I do trust myself but not that much. All right, I'm going to take the top off and I'm going to add, this is how easy it is, okay? I'm just going to add this, okay? You can, you can fill it all the way up to the top if you want. You don't have to. I just put it about halfway full. Um, I am going through this like you would not, whoops, hello. I'm going through this like crazy. Make sure this is shaken up, shook up, shaked up, whatever it is, um, before you put it into your bottle, okay? And every time you use this, now you don't have to empty this. I keep it in my jar. Okay, so this is my jar of, um, these actually are watercolor ones, large, medium, and small, okay? And the reason I know they're the watercolor ones is because they have the dotted, um, I just, I, that's the way I keep track of them. I'll show them to you in just a minute. So this one right here is my sparkle. This one right here is um, one that I fill with water and I use with my watercolor um, based items like my watercolor pencils, my splashes, which are the, or I'm sorry, my silks, which are these, and my splashes, which come in the big bottles. And so these right here have water in them, and I actually keep water in those, all right? So here's my sparkle one. Here is my, um, the one I use with my waters, and whenever I use them with, with nothing, there's nothing in here, I use these for my blending, my fusion blender, all right? So I use my re-inkers and my fusion blender with these, and this is how I tell them apart. These are so inexpensive in our catalog. They are just so inexpensive. It's, it's a good thing to have more than one, and you'll see why in just a minute, but they're $5.95 for just, and you don't have to buy a pack of them. You buy them singly, so you can buy three of the little ones, two of this, one of this, whatever you want, whatever quantities that you want, and that's what makes them so affordable. You don't have to buy them in big bundles. So if you use the little one all the time, buy five little ones, you know? You don't have to buy them all at once or whatever. But anyway, that's how I tell them apart. And then I went a little bit farther, okay? So these two are, you've seen me use millions and millions and millions of times before, Okay, but the, the, then what I started doing was because we just got this new thing, I'm going to show you how to use this in just a moment. That is my sparkle silk, okay? But remember I just showed you we have gold silk and bronze silk? Well, the gold silk and the bronze silk, and you can do it with every color that you want to, and trust me, I will be. But for right now, because these are the two colors that I use the most, I actually put my um, bronze silk in here and my gold silk in here. I didn't um, identify those because you can definitely tell that there is silk inside of here. Um, this one would be a little bit harder because it's clear when, like this one is, is um, shooken up, shook up already all right so you can it, it's kind of cloudy but when it's not mixed up okay um it is pretty clear and the the um, sparkles will be on the bottom so just to identify it quickly i wanted to put this little tape on here so why do i do that like i said when i used um when i used the um the sparkle with this right here it'll work but do you see how fat that brush is? So this is good for just, you know, like I can do this one. All right, let me shake it up and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I can take this brush. I can dab it like we've been doing with all of our silks. I can color it with this little brush right here. All right, and that gets all of the, um, the sparkles on there, just like that. Or 
if I use it in these containers, watch what happens. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. Let me just show you on this one first. So for this one right here, for this little guy right here, and I hope you can see it, how beautifully sparkly he is. Um, I'll show you how I did this one, and then I'll show you how I'm going to do this one. But I did this one all with this little brush right here. So what I did was, I took this, make sure it's mixed up. All right, that's better than trying to figure out shook, shaken, or shooked up. Okay, all right, I'm just going to take, and I am going to just color it in, just like this. Look at how much control you have. And because our, um, our blending brushes are so magnificent, the um, tip of this brush is so pointed, it's amazing. All right, so you have so much control over this brush and where your color goes. You can put it anywhere and everywhere. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just adding color here and there and yonder, all right? So I'm going to finish this one up like I did with the original one, but I want to show you how you can jazz it up with other colors of silk. I'm just looking for the top to my silk. It doesn't dry out. I have been using this for, th excuse me, three days in our class, and it, it stays the same. It doesn't clog. It doesn't, and you get so much for your money, okay? This is 0.5 ou uh, ounces on here, and, and it just, I've been using it like crazy, and I still have a half a bottle. And look at I have, I have the half a thing here. It just lasts forever. I'm going to tell you right now. It just lasts forever. So now I have in here, this is my gold. I'm going to make sure I shake it up. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to use that right over here. So let's just add some color right here. And if you can see this in person, oh my gosh, it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. There we go. Do you see how fine and how it's just so, con I am such a control freak. It's so controlling. All right. So that is our gold right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of our bronze. Okay. And you can just keep the pens. What I would suggest is that you keep the pens like this in a container, okay? So I can just keep them in my container just like that. Um, and just make sure that the, um, the liquid is down at the bottom, all right? All right, so let me just take my bronze. Let me shake it up. Take my bronze and do the same exact thing. Now, if I want a large line, all I have to do is, is go large. Just lay it down uh, fatter. If I want a less, less fatter of a line, Am I talking right tonight? And then if you want a very tiny line, you just take and you just dab it like this. So you can take and you can actually write with this. Look at that. Okay? So if I just wanted to write my name, there we go. Boom! All right? And then the control on this is amazing. All right? You're just going to take and just put color wherever you want it to be. And it's got the sparkles in it. It's got... Oh, it's just so pretty. I'm going to have to finish this one. I went every other one on these, all right, because I thought it looked so pretty. There we go. Oh, and then there, there's that one. All right, so then let me go with, um, I'm just going to finish it up because I think it's really it's starting to look very nice. I might even put this one on my card instead of that one. Now, I'm just going to add um, the gold. So this is going to be, da, 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 and there's gold. And then there's gold right there. One, two, and then we'll put some gold right there. Isn't that so pretty? We can just add a few little dots here and there. I love, love doing this. There we go. See, now that would look very pretty on here with our little sandstones. Oops, but I already glued him on there. See, and then I could add my sandstones to that, but I'm going to leave him in the picture because he is so gorgeous. All right, so let me finish this one up. I want to show you how I did and finished this one, all right? Because I got a couple of different things I wanted to show you, but that's our, um, our sparkle silk. It is brand new in the catalog. This is my, right here, this is what I'm using, all right? And this is my highlight for today, all right? My product review. I just think it is so very, very pretty and so controlling. And if you're a control person like I am, then you want to make sure that you have a blending brush. I would go with a small. And then um, I'm just going to take and color in all of these too. 
I just every once in a while shake it to make sure that all the sparkles are in there. Okay, here we go. I might add, oh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm kind of making this up as I go along. All right, for this one anyway. All right, and then we're going to do a couple little sparkles there. And just a couple little sparkles here and there. And then I'm going to take, oh, we got to do our other, our little, there we go. I got to do my other cloud up here. My two little clouds are very sparkly. All right. And now what I'm going to do, this is almost where I ended on the last one, but let me show you what I did for this little guy right here. I took, um, some of my hazelnut blend, which matches that right there. And I put just a little drop, because you don't need a whole lot. There's, that's all I need. A little bit of my Fusion Blender right next to it. And I'm going to grab, um, because this is the Fusion Blender, and this is the Fusion Blender, I need the brush that looks like, let me see, this one right here. See, that's the one that doesn't have any tape on it. So I'm just going to grab this, grab a little bit of color, and I'm going to go right over the um, Sparkle Silk. All right, and do you see how it's just adding a little rim to this? That's what I did on this one. Now remember, it does dry lighter, so don't worry about going dark. All right, so I'm picking up my Fusion Blender, and I'm adding that to my silk. The sparkle still stays there, so you want to know that when you put sparkle down, either on the bottom of it or the top of it, that it will stay there. So this is a training video. This is a product review for you. This is one that's going to show you how cool our product is. All right. There's like nothing else I've ever seen before. All right. But I'm a pretty sheltered person. So you're probably saying, well, I've seen that before. No, you haven't. All right. So here we go. I'm just adding that right there. Now, do you see how, how pretty awesome that is? I'm going to go a little bit farther and go back and use my other colors. All right. And I'm going to add some more color to it. So I'm going to go and just put a few dots here and there. All right. Oops, that one kind of leaked a little bit. Here we go. Little bit, little bit. Okay. See how I'm just kind of adding a little bit here and there. All right. There we go. Add a little bit here. All right. Now I'm going to go back with, maybe I'll add some right here. Okay. I'm getting kind of crazy with this stuff. I love it. Love, love it. Okay. And I'm, I'm doing this because I want it to be picked up by the, um, I, want it, I want it to be picked up by the, the little um, sea stones that we have here. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of this. All right. All right, and just add a couple more of the lines with this color. And it just soaks so nicely into the paper. There we go. Super pretty. Okay, so now we have the colors of the sandstone, or so I think they're the colors of the sandstone. We're going to bring in our sandstone here, all right, and I'm just going to add a couple of these onto him. So here's one. I'll add, um, let's see, I'm going to add a, a really pretty one. I think that this one kind of adds to our, there we go. That one kind of looks like our bronze. And then I'll go back with another green one here in the middle. And then what I'll do, instead of adding my blue little um, sequence down here, I'm just going to add a couple of these to the bottom over here. And let's see. Let's grab another one. They are just the prettiest things. You have to see these in person to really appreciate them. They're self-stick. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. So that is my card for today. Let me just grab these things out of the way. Again, the, the um, product that I was highlighting was our Sparkle Silk right here and um, these little sea stones right here. All right, these are just amazingly gorgeous. Um, and I love them. I absolutely love them, and I hope you do. Give it a try. Sparkle Silk. Absolutely love it. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You take care and have a great day. Thank you.